Hey, excuse me. Need some help? No, I'm good. Let me take a look. You know anything about cars? Uh, no, not really. So, uh, what did you say you do? Well, that's a secret. And why is that? Well, because if I told you, you probably wouldn't want to see me again. Who said I was going to see you again? Would you? Well, let's take this place. Say it was a bank. And instead of that counter up there, that was really a teller's window. And you just walk in, real calm. So you walk right up, look her in the eye, and you say, ma'am, this is a robbery. And you show her the gun, like this. And you say, I wouldn't want you to get hurt, because I like you. I like you a lot. So don't go breaking my heart now, OK? <sighs> You're not serious. Uh, excuse me, I'd like to open up an account. Well, great. What type of account do you have in mind? This kind. This kind. You said he was armed. He had a gun. You saw it. Well, he was also sort of a gentleman. He was very polite. He seemed like a nice enough fella. Look at that. Is he smiling? Five states. 93 robberies. In two years. You think you can catch him? Yeah, I won't lie. I'd love to slap the cuffs on him myself. Let's hope I get the chance. Try another city, baby. Another town. He spent his whole life locked up, except for the times that he broke out. Somebody should have told him to quit while he was in. Well, you find something you love. I'm following down. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. You're never exactly where you're supposed to be, are you? Now, whenever I close the door, I think, is this the last time I'll ever have a chance to do whatever that thing was? You know what I do when the door closes? I jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Living is a gamble, baby. Loving's much the same. Wherever I sat down with him once, and I said, "Surely there's an easier way to make a living." And he looked at me and he said, "I'm not talking about making a living. I'm just talking about living." 